Make sure you guys click the eye on the top right corner, guys. Click it. It's going to take you straight to my second channel. Make sure you guys subscribe and turn on notifications for more content. Hey you, yes you, why haven't you clicked that subscribe button, or turn on notifications, you might as well click the like button, thank you. Your boy's going to be doing a $10 Roblox card giveaway guys, every single week. If you guys want to have a good chance of winning the giveaway, all you have to do is complete all the steps guys. Alright guys, so make sure you guys leave a like on the video, click the first link in the description guys. Once you click the first link, make sure you guys click accept invite to join my Tutuski clan. Also, make sure you guys join my Smoky Pyro Crew Discord. Click the second link in the description and make sure you guys accept the invite. Once you click the third link in the description, click accept invite to join my Blocks Online Development Server, the game I'm working on. If you guys want to hop on my private server, click the link right next to where it says private server and you can hop on my private server whenever you want. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, go for it, and you're going to have a better chance of winning if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, guys. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, the Salem 121 back with another video. And today, guys, I'm going to be showcasing all the KGs using previous clips I recorded in the past, showcasing the KGs. And at the end of the video, I'm going to add two extra clips um, showcasing the new KGs that came out that weren't on the game last month. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to my second channel, follow me on Instagram, and Twitter, and follow all the steps. To get a chance to win one of the ten dollar gift cards. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, the Salem Two One, back with another video. And today I'm going to be showcasing all the KGs, guys. So this is how it's gonna go, guys. I'm gonna be starting off with Akamichi, and then the next KG I'm gonna be showcasing I mean is gonna be Pyakugan, and then Ice ETC. You already know what I'm saying, guys, right? So it's gonna go in order by the KG bag inventory order. So all right, guys. So the first KG I'm gonna be showcasing is the Akamichi KG. So check it out. The first move is pretty dope so it just makes you a giant ball and you roll for about two seconds and the second move is same thing guys makes you a giant ball but a ball with spikes and you roll for about six seconds so check it out pretty dope right um damn i can't land either one though <laughs> okay i'm gonna land the last one for sure guys this is the last move check it out and makes your hand really fat and then you can just go and attack your enemy with it which is pretty dope guys so this is how much damage it does. The last move does a pretty good amount of damage. Not bad. Okay, so I'm going to be showcasing the Pyakugan, guys. So check out the activation for it. Pretty dope. So the first move is pretty cool. So check it out. It just hits your opponent. Um, move, and it pushes them away. So what it um, what it does is just hit the, your opponent's chakra point. And then it moves them away and does 25 damage. Big shout out to my boy EFT for being my test dummy. And um, letting you guys know how much damage the move does. Big shout out to him. Okay, so the second move is my favorite move uh, for the Pyakugan. Pretty dope, guys. It could break blocks, and it's pretty dope. Not bad. And the last move just just pushes you, too. Hits your chakra up and pushes you. That was pretty OP. Tons of damage. You're right about that, my guy. All right, okay, guys. Next up is the Ice KG. So this is the first move, guys. Check it out. So what it does is just release a lot of spikes off the floor. So this is like a defensive move when somebody tries to come and attack you. It does a good, it does a good amount of damage, guys. So, depending on where your enemy is, um, it depends on how much damage it does. This is the second move, guys. So, what it does is just release a lot of spikes in a straight line. And if you land on your opponent without him blocking, it could do a lot of damage, even kill him, though. Okay, so the last move is my favorite move on the Ice KG. So, if you hold it, um, it just shows a lot of ice mirrors and they're both all the ice mirrors are attacking your opponent all at once and it does a pretty good amount of damage you even killed them bros did you on that okay guys the next kg is the fire kg which is one of my favorite kgs so the first move is my favorite move on the lava kg so what it does is shoot fireballs at your opponent so you could just aim at your opponent and keep shooting fireballs until your shotgun runs out and it does a good amount of damage guys check it out that was pretty op guys no wonder the creator made it um super rare to get and then the second move is pretty dope too so what it does is just make your body full of lava so anytime your opponent comes at you or tries to attack you the the lava automatically attacks him so that's pretty dope guys it does a good amount of damage guys not bad um the last move is pretty dope guys so what, what the last move basically does is if you hold it it just releases a lot of lava off the floor um on the floor guys and 
the more you hold it, the more the lava spreads around and it could attack more than one opponent, which is pretty dope. Look how much damage it does. Pretty dope, guys. Tell me now. Alright, next up is a Mumushiki KG. This is also one of my favorite KGs. So, what the first move does is deflects attacks. So, check it out. It just reflected my attack and attacked him, guys, which is pretty dope. Alright, so the second move is my favorite move on this KG. So what it does is slam the hammer on the floor and just puts up red flames up and moves your I mean pushes your enemy away and does a good amount of damage and takes all his chakra away, which is pretty OP guys. And the last move is decent. It's not strong and it's not weak, it's a pretty decent move. So what it does is you can hold on to it. And then when you release, um, when you stop holding on to it, it just shoots a lot of black bubbles towards your opponent, and it does a good amount of damage. Not bad. It's not that weak, and it's not that strong. The shadow is pretty dope too. It's a really good KG for leveling up. So this is the first move, guys. It releases, it releases a lot of spikes, and it traps your opponent, which is pretty dope. Okay, the second move, it does the same thing, but it doesn't release a lot of spikes. It just releases one fast spike, and it traps your enemy, and you can keep... You can keep on holding on to it until you trap your opponent. So, for example, if you're holding on to it and your opponent's not next to you, and he comes next to you, he could still get trapped on it, which is pretty OP, guys. It's a great move to use to combo with other attacks. Pretty OP. And the last move, what it does is um, almost does what the second move does. Almost does the same thing as the second move, but instead of releasing one spike, it releases a lot of spikes, and you can hold on to it. And it, and it also takes your opponent's chakra, which is pretty OP, guys. So when you activate the ring gun, it releases this black steel on your hand. Let me know what's the name of it in the comments. I kind of forgot. Okay, the first move is pretty good, guys. So what it does is pull your opponent in, guys. Pull them towards you, which is pretty dope. And then you can automatically attack them once they're next to you. It also does a good amount of damage, which is pretty OP. The second move is my favorite, which is Almighty Push. So what it does is pushes your enemy away, so he can't attack you. I don't know why it didn't push him away, but it should push your enemy away. Bro, I just glitched. Bro, I think the running gun is glitched, guys. What the hell? So what the last move does is just put your opponent up in the air, and then it starts creating the Shupake Tensei, I believe. And it does a pretty good amount of damage. It traps your enemy. You could combo with Ice KG or you could wait for him until he falls and then start attacking him. And it does a good amount of damage, guys. Not bad. The first move for the Magnet KG is just sand. Like, you attack them with sand. Almost like that, what's it called? Water. Um, Minjutsu. So, it's just... I don't know what to call it, man. I'm so confused. It, it's just sand to tsunami, tsunami. So, what it does is just... When you activate the first move, you just move sand towards your enemy. Even though they're really far, you can still land it on them, which is pretty dope. I don't know how to explain, it's really hard to explain. The second move is pretty dope, guys. So you have to be close to your enemy, and then once you use it, it traps them in this, what's it called? In a sand barrel, which is pretty dope, guys. And then the last move is just, what's it called? It activates a uh, sand shield around you, so it looks pretty dope, and it kind of protects you. And it hurts your enemy every time you go next to them, which is pretty dope. So you know what? Cross that, guys. We're going to be showcasing Sasuke's when gun last. I'm going to hop on his account to showcase it. Okay, fine. This dude really wants to be the test dummy so bad, guys. <laughs> okay, so next up is a Sharing Gun, which is not that rare. You can easily get it, but it's pretty OP, not gonna lie. It's not that weak and it's not that strong, so. Activation is pretty clean. Okay, so what the first move does is usually read your opponent's um, moves. So once you have it activated, you could automatically see your opponent's move that he's about to use, which is pretty dope. So check it out. I don't know why it's not showing the move. It should. But yeah, guys, you should have the move on top of his head. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, look, look like that, guys. So as you can see, we're on top of his head, guys. Um, You see a move that he's, that he's about to activate. So yeah, that's pretty dope. Okay, the first move, you could just keep spamming it, and then it pushes this on the screen so they can't really see, and you could attack them without them seeing their screen, which is pretty dope. The second move puts them in the Jinjutsu. That's pretty dope, but you got to be close to them. And then the last move is my favorite, which is the Black Flames, I believe, right? Yep, the Black Flames, which is pretty dope. So you gotta be, like, um, a certain distance from your opponent, like this far, I believe. And then you could use it on them, which is pretty dope. And then um, it just activates the Black Flames, guys. And you can keep attacking them until you run out of chakra. And it's pretty OP, guys. I mean, instead of showcasing Sasuke's when they're gone, I'm gonna be showcasing it last since I don't have it. When I hop on my subscriber's account, also Storm, I'm gonna be showcasing it last. Showcasing it last. 
because I accidentally put on um, Magnet on the Storm slot, so that was a fail for me. And I'm gonna be showcasing Bone Cage also last. So the cage I'm gonna be showcasing right now is Tensigon. Gonna be equipping it in the second slot. Okay, Wood, third slot, and uh, a Barumo KG, which is in my first slot. My favorite KG activation is the Tensigon activation because it looks pretty clean and dope, guys. All right, check it out. This is the first move. Not the first move, bro. I accidentally equipped it by accident, but that was the last move, guys. So what it does is, if you hold on to it, um, it just releases a lot of, like, all the black stuff behind you. Um, I forgot what it's called, but the orbs, I believe. Once you hold on to it, um, it starts draining your chakra, and then the black orbs start attacking your opponent, which is pretty OP. Okay, now let's showcase the first move. So the first move is a uh, Rasengan. I, I believe it's a Rasengan. It's a I don't know what this is called. Let me see what it's called. It's called the uh, Silver Wheel Recent Re Reincarnation. Reincarnation. Bro, I don't even know if I said that right. But this is how it looks like, guys. And then you could just go up to your opponent and attack them with it, which is pretty dope. It does a good amount of damage. And then the last move is pretty dope too. It pulls your opponent and then it just does damage to them, which is pretty dope, guys. It does a good amount of damage. The first move, what it does, I forgot what the first move does. Yeah, it just releases spikes, I believe. Wood spikes and attacks your opponent. It does a good amount of damage. The second move uh, uh, traps your opponent. We have to be really close to them, I believe. Bro, why isn't it working? Okay, let me retry it. Some cages aren't working for some reason. So I don't know why it didn't work. But it should trap them, just like the last move. But the last move, you could be really far and still catch them and trap them. So check it out. So the second move does the same thing, but it doesn't release a dragon and trap them. And it traps more than one opponent, which is pretty dope, guys. Next up is the Aburumo KG, the one that just released, the new KG that released, guys. So I'm not going to be able to showcase all the moves due to the bug that Carrier Bros didn't fix yet. So I'm going to be showcasing the first two moves. So check it out. The first move, you got to be really close to your opponent. And once, once you activate it, it puts him in a black bubble full of bugs, floats him into the air, and then explodes, which is pretty dope. The second move does the same thing, but it releases, it's like a distant move. Oh, bruh. I accidentally used, um, wood KG. Fail. So, this is what it does, guys. It just shoots a black bubble full of bugs. Instead of making them float, it just puts them in the black bubble and explodes, guys. Activate, activation for Sasuke's Winning Gun is pretty clean, not gonna lie. Alright, so the first move is pretty dope. So, what the first move does is release a lot of black flames, I believe. But it pulls your opponent into you while you're releasing the black flames and it does a good amount of damage this is why Sasuke's Winnegan is my favorite KG in the game the second move is also put your opponent in and it's a uh, Rasengan with black flames also so I mean Shidori with black flames and it sucks your opponent I mean puts your opponent to you and then once you release it, it attacks him which is pretty dope guys so what the last move does is release a lot of Shippo's attention from the sky and if it hits your opponent it does a good amount of damage not bad so check it out, it just releases a lot of Shippo's attention from the sky and starts falling. So anybody around you gets hit easily. So yeah, shout out to my boy FT for letting me showcase Sasuke's Winnegan and Storm on his account. He's on my account, so I'm going to be showcasing the Storm KG on his account. So the first move for the Storm KG is my favorite. So what it does, it's pretty OP, guys. So what it does, guys, is... um. Make it it just makes it rain guys from the sky purple rain and anybody around you anybody around you gets attacked I don't know why he's not getting attacked and it does a pretty good amount of damage It just killed AF and my other boy Nick, which is pretty OP And I think it killed this dude that wasn't getting attacked Which is pretty clean guys not bad the second move does the same thing But your opponent has to be next to you so check it out it releases a small cloud and Attacks your opponent, which is pretty dope guys, and then the last move is pretty strong So you could attack them from far away or close range. So if you're close range it automatically kills them I think so check it out Now nah, it doesn't kill them, but yeah, it does kill them if you're in close range Which is pretty OP, but if you're a little bit far and you still attack them It doesn't really kill them, but it does a lot of damage on them guys, which is pretty dope guys So <laughs>
guys, pretty dope. So it just spins, it spawns with Sosano and spins and attacks with swords, which is pretty dope. Um, let's use the second move. Hold up. There's a second move, guys. It's pretty dope. I don't even know what it does, though. I think it protects you. Oh, that's sick. And this is the last move. It throws swords at your opponent and it spins too, which is pretty dope. <gasps> so, guys, check it out. Um, I'm going to be show you guys a clip on one of my previous videos I did showcasing the bone KG. Since I can't find somebody with the bone KG to showcase it for me, and I also don't have the bone KG. So yeah, guys, I'm just gonna be showing you a clip I did on my recent video showcasing all the moves for the bone KG. So yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave a like, share the video with a friend, and most importantly, leave a comment what video I should do next. Here's a clip of me showcasing the bone KG, guys. All right, the first move is pretty OP, guys. So if you are next to the uh, your opponent and you're using the first move, that's an automatic L for your opponent, guys. So don't get close to a um, bone KG um, user. So yeah. It's not really called Bone KG, but I don't know how to say the name of it. It's really hard, guys. But I'm just gonna keep calling it Bone KG for now. Alright, so the second move is alright, guys. It's like a defensive move. So when your opponent's trying to come at you and you're at low health, just use the second move and he just pushes them back. Which is pretty OP, guys. The last move I really like, guys. It's really clean and dope, guys. The last move is just, it's just like almost like a finisher move. So check it out, boys. This is the last move. Check it out, bro. Check it out. Looks pretty clean. And then it throws you straight to the ground and makes a full animation.